Welcome everybody to this episode of That Went Well. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that you visit with me here episode to episode. As I continue my food tasting journey here on the show, it has become quite an adventure as I'm now well beyond 50 episodes and counting and having so much fun doing this for me. And now it's time for yet another version of Can I Be a School Villain? Can I Be a School Villain is a project by which I try various spicy hot sauces to see, or spicy products I should say, to see if I can take the heat. And so I'm always excited about unique products that come onto the market that uh, are all about hot sauce and being spicy hot sauces. And today I'm going to feature a set of hot sauces that I found at World Market. Uh, World Market is one of my favorite places to get uh, different types of uh, foodstuffs and so forth that are usually from around the world. And uh, this particular product actually comes out of New York. And it's not a um, hot sauce product that I'd seen before. The product itself is Queen Majesty. Queen Majesty Hot Sauce Trinity is what it's called. And this is the package. And it kind of looks kind of classy. And uh, it's awesome because the flavors of these hot sauces are really, really unique. The uh, first one here is a jalapeno, tequila, and lime hot sauce. And then right here in the middle, it's a scotch bonnet and ginger hot sauce. And then here to the right is a red habanero and black coffee hot sauce. So very unique flavor combinations that uh, make up these particular hot sauces. And I'm really excited to try. Now you guys know, if you've been watching my show, that whenever I do hot sauce episodes, I do them without cuts. Uh, because I want to make sure that everybody knows I'm not in any way cheating the process of trying these products and so I'm literally opening the box for the first time and I uh, haven't tested it before uh, what you get in terms of reaction is what happens as I try them for the first time and so I'm going to remove them here from the packaging and prepare to try them for you and uh, let you know my thoughts on each of these individual hot sauces uh, that have such unique flavor uh, makeups and so um, just going to go ahead and bust right into it and uh, figure out what I think. Uh, to do these tastings, I'm going to simply use my trusty old restaurant tortilla chips. Um, yes, I believe that I opened the bag upside down because that's me. Uh, but they are HEB tortilla chips uh, because support local. And so, yeah, I'm going to give it a go and we'll try each of these hot sauces one at a time. So, Sergio, why don't you have the chips out beforehand? Because I forgot. So, here we go. I'm going to pull out a few chips onto my trusty plate here. And we're going to give each of these a try. Now, I don't know where I'm going to start, but I will say that these products are labeled as vegan, gluten-free, uh, no sugar, and kosher. So, there you go. Again, it's a company out of New York that makes these, and uh, yeah, it's hopefully an awesome product, so I'm excited. I think I'll go with the one that to me sounds most familiar, and there's uh, this jalapeno tequila and lime is this first sauce. Now, I'm shaking it up uh, so that it can get mixed up real well, and I'm just going to bust it open. I immediately get that, that uh, jalapeno hit and a little bit of the lime. And I'm going to go ahead and just pour it onto the chip. Oh. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Right on there. Here we go. Mmm. That's tasty. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. You get the lime. Heavy, <laughs> heavy hit of lime, for sure. Not a lot of heat, though. It's tasty. It's very tasty. Like, I could see uh, putting this on, on top of a chicken taco or maybe some eggs because it's a light green sauce. I'm not getting too much of the tequila, but... Um, from an ingredient standpoint, it's in there. Um, but yeah, pretty tasty. I like it. Okay, item number two. 
This is going to be the Scotch Bonnet and Ginger. Scotch Bonnet and Ginger Hot Sauce. So we're going to do the same, shake it up, and give it a go. So there we go. This one is a bit thick, so I'm kind of loosening it up. And I'm going to break the chip into a more manageable piece and give it a go. Again, Scotch Bonnet and Ginger is the flavor profile of this particular hot sauce. Not getting really far with that. Give me a second, I'm gonna try to, again, I'm doing this uncut so that you guys see that I'm not cheating. And uh, here we go. There's some chunky bits that are stuck on top of the bottle that are making life a little difficult. And so I want to make sure that we get some of the hot sauce so that I can taste it. There we go. Okay. We're going to modify a bit. I'm going to transfer some of the hot sauce. So, oh, oh yeah, I am digging that. That one's a little hotter, for sure. The ginger is a great addition to the scotch bonnet. Um, Lime juice in here. Yeah, that has grabbed my entire tongue. And it's, oh yeah, got some heat. I love it. I love it. You've seen this guy before. I'm going to try to clear my palate for the last one, which is the most unique flavor combination of all. That is spicy. Uh, this one is the red habanero and black coffee uh, combination and I love habanero I love coffee I love hot sauce and I love doing these for you even though right now my tongue is on fire fire absolute fire so here we go Whew. one more to go all right here's the chip and we're going to pop some in here. And ha uh ha. -huh, uh -huh. mm. That's a much bolder flavor. It's a very deep, um, kind of smoky flavor. Um, the coffee is a nice hit with the habanero um, yeah habanero and um, that one's hot that one is hot I can't wait to try this on a burger it's like literally the first thing that pops in my mind is into a gra uh, like a ground beef burger and um, yeah that's awesome I would even think like some good smoked ham um, this is delicious. Hey, listen, Her, Her Majesty Hot Sauce, it's it's amazing. Um, it's Queen Majesty, actually, because my brain is fried. Um, very tasty, very, very spicy when you get to the second of the three, which is the Scotch Bonnet and the Habanero. But I encourage you guys, go to World Market, find these, and uh, light your face on fire. So... Uh, that was fun. That was tasty and that was spicy. So I survived this one and I thank you so much for joining me. Click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also click that notification bell so you know when my next episodes land and give this episode a like because gosh darn it, I, I do this for y'all and I suffer. That's not that bad, but it is because hey, spicy.
You're awesome. You're amazing. And the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time on That Went Well.